What's going on vlog? Today I'm gonna to show you how to create your own personal Bitcoin wallet, how to sync it with your mobile device, all using the Jax app. Here we go. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to want to go to Jax.io. Jax.io is gonna bring you to the Jax website where you're gonna find the download now button. You're gonna to wanna to download the newest version of Jax. We're gonna download the desktop version. As you can see, there's Android and iPhone versions as well. Download, save file. Excellent, now that it's been downloaded, we're gonna open it up and install it. With the Mac, all you need to do is slide it over to the applications folder to install. Now that we have it installed, we're gonna unmount the installation disk and we're gonna open up Jax. The first time you open up the Jax interface, it's gonna tell you about its newest releases. In case you're already a Jax user and you want to know what's happening on the newest download. We're gonna click continue. From here, we can see the terms of service and the policy. We're going to accept it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new wallet. If we were already using a Jax wallet, we would be able to pair it. We're gonna to get to that later on in the video. We'll click continue. And we're going to choose the express option. From this screen, we're gonna choose the types of currency we want the wallet to accept. It's important to know that clicking each one will enable a new private key and a new public key per type of currency that you choose. Once you choose the types of currency that you wish to install, you're going to take me to my wallet. And there you have it. Your first Jax wallet with multiple currencies ready to accept or send payments. It's important to know that each public key sits right here and every currency has a different public key. You can also give away your QR code up in the top right corner, we have the wallets, allowing you to choose between the different types of currencies. We also have currency here, allowing you to see the total your cryptocurrency to be. I live in Canada, so I'm going to choose the Canadian dollar as well. And now I can choose back and forth between the US dollar and the Canadian dollar for the total of the current price of your cryptocurrency. In the menu, we're going to see settings where you can choose the mining fee. I do not suggest ever going to slow. This could take several days. Average is fine, fast is more expensive. Here you can reset your Jax cash. In case for any reason your wallet is not synced with the blockchain, you can erase your cash and allow it to resync with the blockchains on all your different cryptocurrencies. Your final option here is your security pin, allowing you to confirm changes in your wallet, like sending a payment. Once your pin has been set up, you're ready to go. Here in the tools menu, you're able to back up your wallet, display the private keys for each currency, pair your device, or transfer your holdings to a paper wallet. Remember when I talked about the public keys for your currencies? Well, your currencies also have private keys. Here, you're able to see the private keys for all of your wallets. This shows you a countdown, allowing you to confirm before wanting to display it. If I hit here, it'll go forward and show the private keys for each wallet. I don't wanna show them to you, so I'm not gonna do that. If you want to back up your wallet, you may want to save your private keys. Your private keys will help you in case of a fork in the currency. However, with all of these private keys and all of these different currencies, it can be very hard to pair your wallet with another device. Jax has made that a lot easier. Here, in the backup wallet option, you're able to view your backup phrase. Your backup phrase is given a countdown and an understand button just the same way before. I don't want to display it here. If I were to hit I understand, I would see a 12 word passphrase that I could use to sync my wallet with any other Jax wallet. This 12 word passphrase is unique to you. You do not want to share it. First time you see this passphrase, you want to write it down three times by hand. You want to write it out by hand and you want to hide these things in very, very secure places. If you ever lose access to your computer, this is how you will access your funds again. Treat this as you would the keys to a safety deposit box. Now that we know about the 12 word passphrase, I'm gonna show you how we can sync that with your mobile device. So, now that you're set up on the computer, let's sync it with your mobile device. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna find the Jax app in your mobile device store. You're gonna download that. Open it up once it's downloaded. We're gonna allow it to see our camera, so that way we can sync it using the QR code associated with it. We're gonna hit continue. We're gonna accept. 
and we're going to pair the device and we're going to scan the QR code. I'll be right back. Once you've scanned the code or punched in your 12 word passphrase, you'll see the wallet settings. You're going to want to activate the same ones that you had activated before. It's going to initialize your wallet and then we are synced. It's as easy as that. Now you're connected with your personal Bitcoin wallet. Thanks for watching everyone. If you've got any more Bitcoin questions or anything to do about wallets, blockchain, leave a question down below. If you like what I'm doing, click one of the links to support the channel. Remember to subscribe, thumbs up, and give me a share on all your favorite social media channels. Until next time, peace.